Hi everybody, welcome back. In this example, we'll see Ansible tags. Sometimes we have requirements like we want to run only specific tasks in a playbook. We might have a playbook with bunch of tasks. So even though Ansible is idempotent, in sense, if we run playbook repeatedly again and again, there will not be any side effects. Okay, even though to reduce execution time, some cases we want to run only specific tasks in a playbook. For demonstrating this example, I have Ansible installed and one manage node where our playbook going to be executed. So I am on my Ansible uh, control node. Uh, we have a playbook. We have this key pair which is used for connecting to manage node for executing this playbook, the inventory details and the file which is used for deploying onto the remote Apache server. So I want to install this playbook on web service group. Okay. And we have three tasks over there. Let me run this playbook and later we'll see how to use tags and how to execute only specific tasks in a playbook. So the command is Ansible playbook. I'm referring to the inventory followed by. So I need to specify the private key file used for connecting to our manage node. That's also present in my same location. And the playbook I want to execute. It's gathering facts. It's installing packages. It's starting and enabling Apache server. And it's deploying a static website. So let's go and check if that website is up and running. Let's take public IP of manage node. Yes, it's successfully deployed. Now let's update the playbook. I'm adding tags. So it could be any descriptive names. We also can put multiple tags under every task. So we are putting tags for each and every task in this playbook. So this task is for installing Apache and this is to start Apache and this is for uh, deploying the website onto Apache server. Right. So we know that if I run a playbook by default it executes all tasks in a playbook. As I want to run only a task or tasks having tags installed. See that? So instead of executing three tasks, install, start and deploy, it's only executing that specific task having this tag. So yes, if you want to run multiple tasks by specifying multiple tags, put comma and give the second tag. Now it's running two tasks. One is for install and other one is for start. So likewise, sometimes let's say I want to run everything except tasks having specific tags. So for that we could use skip tags. 
let's say I want to run everything except install. So it's going to skip install and run everything. You could see that. The actual use case of uh, tags, right? See, in same playbook, we have install, start, enable, and followed by deploy. So this is generally done uh, very first time. And second time onwards, right? I want to use this playbook only for deploying my code. In such cases, uh, tags are handy and it's going to drastically reduce, minimize the total playbook execution time. Often, tags are asked in interviews. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.